fiecare zi avem ocazia să ajungem în casa unui diplomat. De această dată suntem la reședința ambasadorului Republicii Lituania în Republica Moldova, excelența sa, Tadas Valionis, care împreună cu soția sa ne va găti astăzi o rețetă tradițională din bucătăria lituaniană. Și nu vom avea neapărat o discuție protocolară, ci mai degrabă una culinară. Haideți să-i cunoaștem. Hello, nice to meet you! Oh, so nice! <laughs> Thank you, Hello, nice to meet you! <laughs> So let's go inside and uh, do do our stuff, right? Yeah, uh, you National like kitchen. <laughs> for having us. It's an honor that you have opened the doors of your home for us. Sveiki, as you say, right? Uh, have I said it right? Sveiki. <laughs> Sveiki, okay. Uh, so, uh, because we have limited time, we will be getting right into business. As far as I've read, uh, like most Lithuanian dishes are based on like heavily uh, root vegetables such as beetroot and potatoes, meat, dairy. What have uh, you prepared for us today? What recipe? Uh, well, this is called zeppelins. Zeppelins. Uh huh. Uh, these are kind of potato meat dumplings. with meat dumplings. Uh -huh. Whatever. <laughs> what are the ingredients for uh, for this recipe? We need quite a lot of potatoes. For this. <laughs> a lot of potatoes. <laughs> okay. Like four, six kilograms meat, about one and a half. Kilograms. What kind of meat? Uh, it could be only pork. In this case, we added a bit of beef. Bacon, basically, yes, bacon. We will pan it together with onion. With onion. And, and potatoes is a bit not, not that simple potatoes. These are boiled potatoes. You boil it with skin, then you peel them, uh -huh. then you smash them. Okay. The fresh potatoes, you have to uh, uh, grind them, right? And then you grate, grate, grate them. them, and then you I'll yeah. show. And the, 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 yeah, with this, you with can this. do it with this thing, but it will take hours. And blood. So if you, <laughs> yes. So we had an electrical de device for this, and we did it just in a few minutes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Very well. And then we kind of combine. So we have, like, as far as I understand, we have two type of potatoes: the the boiled ones, yes. the mashed ones, and then we have the raw ones. A few pieces potatoes, boiled. You, you see potatoes here in three places. This mm -hmm. is uh, that we squeezed uh, from the juice already. This is boiled, and yes. this is the juice. This yeah. is the starch? And we still yes, have... And, and on the bottom, as you squeeze of the juice, the starch s sits on the bottom. Then we will throw this top part away and we will get oh, the starch. The starch. So we, uh, then we will mix up all these uh, three potatoes together. Uh -huh. So when we have grated potatoes, we put it in a cloth here. Yes, okay. and you have to squeeze it to get rid of well moist of the juice, uh, most of the juice. And as you see, at least half of it of it goes away. Yes, I see. <laughs> yeah, so. And then uh, this, does this have to sit like 15 minutes or so? Or so, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will add it to the one we already done. So we basically make the dough for the dumplings from all the mix of the potatoes. It's yes. a potato dough. Yeah. yeah. And we have meat, two sorts. We have two sorts of meat. Mm -hmm. uh, because there is always a debate among experts, you should use fresh or, or pan. So <laughs> you decided we, to. <laughs> we will make both. Both. Yeah. I had a bit of salt. Salt. Uh -huh. sure. And we have another member of our cooking part. <laughs> it's a daughter. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will be helping us, as I understand, right? A bit later, yeah. A bit later, okay. If it's not too personal, can I ask how have you met each other and how has this uh, relationship started? Oh, very long ago. We went to a skiing expedition in, in, uh, in the north of Russia too. Call a peninsula in winter. Uh -huh. And that's the one like, yeah. As a student. As a student. Still, yeah. It was like 94. 94. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mustard. Cepelinus. Cepelinus. Do the kids love this recipe? Well, Do you cook it often? Not really. <laughs> it's a long process. Our uh, second daughter, she loves them, uh -huh. so when she comes, we, we do that. Uh -huh. yeah, with her. She's, she's showing the initiative, mm -hmm. and we're helping her there. <laughs> so you have been in, in the Republic of Moldova for like less, maybe than a year, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you feel the energy of the country, of the city of Chisinau, the energy of the people? It's fun, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the challenges maybe, and also the, the, the fun parts? And, I, I personally was pleasantly surprised uh, about the food quality. Uh -huh. A lot of good uh, places, uh, fresh food, you know, for people coming from the north, it's, you know, not so many things grow in Lithuania, yeah. so it's really, really a, a, a big, big, big difference you can see. We take, take a piece of now, see, like this. Mm -hmm. We shape it in a way? Yeah. Well, we make it round, more or less. Mm -hmm. Then we take a piece of meat. Well, it's even better if you form it already in your... And you basically wrap it around. And wrap it around, yeah. A nice ah. zeppelin. Okay. Better to do it with wet hands, so it sticks less. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat in there. I mean, it's pretty consistent. Yes, uh, if you do it for yourself, it's <laughs> a lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we have a company. Yeah. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you invite a lot of guests, so you have to save our meat. Yeah. Time to do easy stuff. <laughs> First, we put bacon in here. And we wait until it melts a little bit. So we have some fat in it. Then we can add onions. We have uh, the, our dumplings already shaped, and here we have boiling water, as I understand. Yeah. Uh, we just have to drop them in there? Yeah, I, I think first we have to salt the water. Yes. Because uh, yeah, well, otherwise it, they will not be very edible. So yeah, <laughs> I add some, some salt to the water. And then we just dump them there into the boiling water, which, which, which is important if you if you do it with cold water until it heats up, they will melt. Oh, you so would, it's important. We'll get okay. some meat with, yeah, carefully. And one by one. One by one, and yes.
I know um, the the dumplings that we made, the tepelin nai. Tepelin nai, right? Tepelin nai, okay. Uh, they are they taste the best when they are savored and eaten right after they are cooked. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have here, this is how it looks in the plate. Yeah. Uh, is the result that you were waiting for? It, this, it looks very good, I mean. R roughly that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does, it yes, does yeah, look yeah. good. <laughs> and we have the sauce here. The sauce with, you, uh, can. you can add sour cream. Sour cream, okay. okay yeah. uh -huh. Thank you. Should I add it on top? It's up to you. The on way, top the way. or next to it. Next to it, something. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Shall we taste it and see how? Yeah, sure. Uh, in Italia, we say scanos. Scanos. Okay, okay, let's let's try. Let's proceed. What we have? Aha, uh -huh, the consistency is interesting. I've never e ever eaten anything that uh, like from potato dough. Dough. It's the first time that I'm. Uh, that eating this. Some say it is mm -hmm. a part of our Jewish heritage mm -hmm. because in Lithuania we have a lot of Jews. Before, and they brought this in. It's very tasty. It really is. And the sour cream is a good combination. Sometimes we add mushrooms as well. We pan the mushrooms and add, add to the bacon. I've also seen that sometimes people like to, uh, for example, to replace the meat inside with cheese or mushrooms. Yes, is it all, it's Possibly. always, yes. Mm -hmm. It's very, very tasty, I have to say. You, you're very good cooks. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So. Papa, oh. She's adding good. Yeah, she's very good. <laughs> you know, after such process, she she must think that it's really <laughs> something. <laughs> after all the effort. I hope we did, and maybe next year we will try something more simple. <laughs> there are also uh, Simpler. easier options. <laughs> Thank you very much again for opening the doors of your house for us. It has been a pleasure and an, hour, an honor to get to know you. And uh, I'm sure that we have inspired many Moldovans to cook. Tepeline! Mulțumesc tuturor celor care ne-au urmărit până în acest moment. Sperăm cu adevărat că v-am făcut poftă de această mâncare, această rețetă tradițională din bucătăria lituaniană și puteți să o repetați la rândul dumneavoastră. Ne scrieți în comentarii cum v-a părut. Între timp, suntem ocupați, avem de savurat. <laughs>